my fault. Oh, what am I doing? Hello. <laughs> good Hi. evening. Sorry, that's a good start, isn't it? Um, good evening. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we have a two Super Crafts. Welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've put this on. I think that might be a new feature on there because I, I just did it as well. It wasn't me. I was blaming Jay at the beginning there, sort of like saying, oh, you double tap. I thought, no, you just click it. But I've just gone and done exactly the same thing as you've just noticed and went to a black screen. So, yeah. Yes. So, sorry so, about that. <laughs> so, yes. So, thank you so much for joining us. If you are uh, watching wherever you are in the world, uh, say hello, uh, pop in a comment. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and you'll be able to pop in a comment during the live. Uh, we do give away the projects that we create so um, it's worth uh, being put onto the draw. Um, and if you are watching the replay, do say hello uh, and fast forward um, a couple of minutes. Uh, we will be saying hello to those of uh, you who have joined us. Uh, the last video that we did uh, live was this one last Sunday. So using the Fresh as a daisy sweet or cheer cheerful daisies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a new sweet which is coming out in the um, upcoming, I can't grab one at the moment, in the upcoming cat new annual catalogue. Oh, it's there, I think it's it? there. Yes, so um, it is from the 2023 to 2024 annual catalogue from Stampin' Up! And it will be available from May the 2nd. Yes. Um, so I only did one card, but I will. Uh, we will be giving away this card that you may have seen on our social media. Um, I, po uh, I posted that on the Insta Hop uh, with the rest of the artisan design okay. team. So, so yes, so you do have time to go back and quickly pop in a comment. I and have posted the link in the top, um, in the, I've pinned the link in the chat. So, Dirk, so it looks like a few of you are struggling to find it. I know Mary, um, or it was Maureen, I think was struggling to find it. And Gian, you said he was struggling to find it as well. So, um, I'm not sure why, but hopefully the link which I've posted is um, is there for you. It's on our channel, it's not hidden at all. So it's I don't probably know why. because we haven't changed the... Possibly, yes. Cool, anyways, shall we say hello? Yes, so say hi. <laughs> Where are we? So the top one, I know the first person on there is Connie, and Ooh, hi, we have Connie. got then Mary, who is just kind of slightly blocked off by the um, the, link. the link. Hello, uh, Lolly and San, Sandy McCullough, Jilly Bling, Maureen Sowerby, Gian, uh, we also have Quinn, hello Charlotte, hi, um, Wendy, hello to you, Mary, Betty H, hello, hello. Carol Ann Pendleton. Um, I don't know why I'm doing full names. <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> hi. <laughs> we also have Marion. Oh. Hello, Marion. Oh. You missed it. <laughs> I, I thought I've done a premature wiggle, but I wasn't. You just missed, I was he missed, you, he missed I was, you out completely. No, I was there. testing you. Sharon, so. Nanny Shasha. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> hi Sharon. We also have Amanda, Jessica, Janice, um, Jackie, Valerie, Claire, Louise, hello, hello, Sue, Pauline, Deb, Debbie and Lisette. Thank you so much for joining us. Lovely. Okay, I'll just read in Maureen. It doesn't come up with your feed. So if you're clicking that link, does it not work? Does it not go anywhere at all in that chat? It should do. It's a link direct from the video, um, so I'm not sure what's going on. So, but um, so yeah, but it's it is there. Um, so right, well let's do the live draw for that. Yes. What, you're making this tonight, are you again? No. no, you're not. Okay, but that's what we're giving away, is it? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I get very confused. Um, so let's do the live draw. Let's go over to that, and let's go <coughs> over to that, and let's go over to that. There we go, we have it. So let's see if there was any more of you in there. So we had two more come in, so good luck everyone. Good luck everyone. Um, and the winner is gonna be... Hey, Gian, Gian. congratulations. Congratulations there, Gian. Um, well done, that card is gonna come over to you, so do please email us the normal um, 
the normal way, please Jan. Details are on the screen, Barry and Jay at MatusiCrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 23rd of April 2023, in the subject line. And your full mailing address, please Jan. Let's just say it's just easy for me to um, to write it up. And um, we will pop that card in the post to you. So, congratulations there. We will pop this card in the post. Well done, you. I love that card. Yeah, it's very and nice. And those colour combinations. Yeah, the colour combinations. This is all of the brand new game colours as well. So um, I'm not sure on this those one Those ones are retiring. Retiring colours. So we will have... What's that colour there? What do you think? I can't remember what the colours are. Pacific Point. Uh, and... Polish Pink. And... Bermuda Bay. Is that Bermuda Bay? Yeah. I, mean, I was going to say Just Jade for some reason. Mango though. Melody. Just Jade. Uh, Pear Pizzazz. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So we've got new colours and we have got retiring colours there. So congratulations there, Jan. That card is going to be coming over to you. And um, Amanda, you won that last card. Yes. So if you haven't emailed us already, I'm not sure if I've seen your email, but Amanda, if, you, if you're watching here, I think you are, um, do make sure you email us if you haven't done so already. Um, and make sure you pop 16th date in. So I'm going to, oh, we're already camera down, um, I'm going to hand you over to Jay and he's going to be playing with something new again by the looks yes, of it circle here. Yes, Circle Sayings. with the new two and three eighths of an inch punch as well. Amazing. So enjoy everyone. So yes, so it was quite hard to uh, photograph um, those because it's, um, it's Heidi. <laughs> But I hope you saw that it's actually different. Um, it's kind of like faceted, I guess. So that's the inspiration for this card. But um, I'll be using the circle sayings. Um, I'll be doing some coloring for the cupcake. Um, but I will do that. So yeah, so this bundle is from the annual catalog, the, the upcoming up annual catalog as well. So check that out when it is available. So for my card base, I'm going new stuff. So this is Bubble Bar, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so I've got our usual dimension, uh, which is 21 by 14, 8 and a quarter by 5 and a half. I have a layer of the same. So this one is 10 by 13.5. Yes. Or that is, it's an odd one for inches, I'm afraid. It is 3 15 16 of an inch. <laughs> but obviously just just uh, do that so that it's got the same border around. I have gone ahead and marked the edges of my card layer. Because the, the original that I did, um, where is the die? I actually use the new nested essentials dies. So in here you have banner, um, rectangular with, I don't know, rounded edges. That's the word. Um, and this one, one, two, hexagon, I think. So I use that, uh, I die cut it and then actually use that as my template. To ink blend the second card from that top uh, i'll show you at the end and that will be the second card for the giveaway um after the replay so so yes i created a, a um a template die cut it and then actually use the edge of the die to create those geometrical lines so but if you don't have the die i thought well i'll i'll do some measuring and do that for you so, you just need three equal measurements from the middle and then two equal parts at the end. So I've done and marked at 5 millimeters, 3.5 centimeters, 6.5 centimeters, and 9.5. So there's a 0 0.5 millimeters um, on each end and then three millimeters on each um, parts on the middle. So that is, again, the, it works out as quite a silly inches one because it is, so it's one, two, three sixteenth of an inch in, in on each side. And that 
is 1 3 16 of an inch in three parts there so you will need a ruler and the what you call it this one a scoring tool so this one came with the oh, it's better known a watch my call it a watch my call it it's in the apostolate song uh, <laughs> Um, the simply scored or you do have the take your pick tool as well it comes with the bowl tool end but I, I have this to hand so we're just gonna create some crisscross lines do it that way. so from one end so the second mark to the first mark across I'll just press my it's probably easier with the terma to be fair but And then make a crisscross. Everybody clap. <laughs> no, I was singing. <laughs> I think that's how it went. <laughs> I don't know. You weren't clapping in tune though. <laughs> okay. So, yes, so. For those of you who are demonstrators, um, we hope you have received your pre-order. If not, not, it's worth waiting for. And did any of you get this bundle? Let us know in the comments. Ooh. Oh, well, that's a... Yeah, I don't think you fed them. <laughs> no, I that's what it was. <laughs> feed me, feed me. <laughs> Now done, I'm also going to line do another line top and bottom where the where the, the cross meet but I'll probably do that after I folded it so towards so I'm going to fold it towards yes, where's my bone folder and then so I'm just folding each score lines just so I can see the folds as well for now before I do my vertical score ring. <laughs> Sorry Wendy. <laughs> so it's it's kind of like started the curve already and it creates that nice uh, dimension onto your card front and can I see you? I think that's right I'm gonna get my trimmer I don't want it to not be straight after all that So it should be at half, the halfway line, but close your trimmer trap and then just core from that cross, cr that cross hatch to the top and then from the bottom to the cross hatch as well. There we go. At least I can see that now and I can still reinforce that if I want to. There we go. And then we're just gonna again this one is a bit um, odd because you don't have the middle bit. So if you kind of like just train the card inwards. Like just pinch it, it should do it. So we want that and then away. You alright? And then do the same for the next one. Pinch the middle slightly.
and then redo the fold. So that is pretty much the card front or the layer. I quite like it. I don't know. Do you <laughs> is it too weird? <laughs> and plus, like, it, it can fold flat as well. Oh no, that's a new one. Okay, so that's my my card base. I'll, I did think whether to do uh, some ink blending, but we'll see. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do some stamping. So the circle sayings um, matches the punch. I do like sending you uh, sentiment. And we'll stamp and color the cupcake as well. Hi, Dana. I will just, are you big enough? No. Now, with this one, I think it's better to punch it first because I want to know where to stamp the cupcake so i'm gonna i'm gonna punch it first let's see Ooh, look it fits nicely and we're gonna stamp in i think the black is nice Ooh, berry burst. Pink or purple? <laughs> I added it into our pinks, just to let you know. Um, the ink pad looks slightly purple, but the blends can like match the same. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna stamp here, just to see what it looks like. Looks nice. Hopefully, I can stamp it properly. Oh no! <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna bring it down. It doesn't, the curve doesn't curve with the punch. It might just be my placement but I don't mind there you go nice <laughs> oh well at least we can well, say it's been stain. used <laughs> it's been used once <laughs> it's like I've used it for it for years <laughs> Charlotte says, I know Barry Burst is a pink bush because she loves it. I'm not a fan of purple, so it can't be loud. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I say pink as well. I think we need new chamois. That one's disintegrating. <laughs> Again? I think I, I used uh, rubbing alcohol on it okay. the other day. Right, right, right. So don't do that. Uh, so memento. I was holding my breath because Tommy was walking around and was like, mm, is he coming up? It's quite, an, um, it's a small cupcake, um, but it's big enough to color. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit for it to dry. Whilst I am doing that, I am just going to share with you our coloring masterclass membership which is um the subscription is open to um register now it's for six months for the price of five so you get a free class and we do the classes every fourth tuesday of the month but there will be more content in the facebook group or if you're not on facebook it will be put into a private youtube um link so you won't miss out uh we do want to create um uh, supporting and um 
yeah, su- yeah, supporting community uh, at, to help each other and um, grow each other's confidence as well. And um, so if you would love to be part of that Coloring Masterclass membership, um, check it out. Uh, there's a QR code on there or a link is in the description as well. There we go. That's my that's my plug for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have Berber. So I'm going to use the new Bubble Bar um, blends as well. So you have light and the dark. Um, I've also got the natural tones for the base. I've got the 900, which is the light from the light combo. 700 and 800 from the medium light. So these labels are also available on our website. And if you are, um, if you used to be in, uh, if you have done the coloring masterclass already or part of our newsletter, you, you would have gotten that for free, the new ones. But um, if you're new to the channel, do check that out uh, on our website as well. You will get these for free when you join the membership. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Cheryl and Lois. Hello. So I'm going to color with the dark first, but I will open my light. So with the dark, I'm just gonna trace around and map out where I want the dark areas to be. And then quickly go in with the light slightly blend it in with the previous color and there we go so as i said it's quite a small one but it is um you can still color with it and you can still use two tone i'm gonna go in with my dark again go over with the light and i'll bring it up so you can see a bit more um, so you can see that I've left some areas white for the highlights so you can do that as well or you can completely fill it in but what's great about the Stampin' Up! stamps is it does show you where the highlights needs to be so you don't have to think much um, but you can be creative and add your own spin on the stamp set you can even use the stamping right marker to add lines if you want to for guide there we go click <laughs> that's when you know it's close <laughs> so for the bottom one I have so that's eight so we have a pink hole for a seven and no. we have a punk from Charlotte <laughs> So the natural tones, the higher the number is, the lighter it is, uh, the lower it is, the darker it is. So you have, what did I have? Nine, eight, and seven. So with the seven, um, there's a tiny bit at the back there. I'm also just gonna add some lines up and down. Um, you, you don't really need to be quite specific with this one. I'm going to do a bit more at the bottom and also you can do a second layer in a second. Hi Tommy. Oh, you moved that away. So that one was 700. For the 800, I'm going to do... No, I was going to do the rest of these. Yes. So I'm just going up and down from one end to the next. I'm leaving some left white for the highlights. And then for the cupcake area, I'm going to do the 900 just so it's a different color. It's quite a small area, so there's no point really doing some shading. But you can, as I said, you can go back once it's dried 
go back in and more so at the base just adding more lines of the 700 there we go I think that is fine Seven, eight, and nine. Ah, good luck with playing the basketball. Hi, Alison. So there we go. Do you think it needs something else? I think it does, doesn't it? Okay. I wasn't gonna ink blend, but I'll ink blend. <laughs> right, I will cut myself. paper so I will just do that but if you're happy with that you can just stick that on in apparently loves your uncle <laughs> that's what Barry normally said <sighs> so I'm gonna cut it the same size as this one Ideally, if you wanted to ink blend, you wouldn't do it. Um, you do it before. Why not? Not piece of time. Not it just feels really. It just feels really blank, doesn't it? We do have this. <laughs> Hi, John. So it's the second from the largest, and it should fit. Yay! Ish. So when I first did it, I did try to make this central, but I don't think it matters now that I've scored it, because I can just move it along. We will see. Hi Lani! It is, yeah, it's the textured ribbon, uh, Moody Move. Hi Becky! I was only planning on doing one, that's why I was like, oh, how, how can I prolong this? <laughs> I'll just cut that so I can see the center line. it up. That's another song. Okay, we'll we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll go with it. Paris laughing. Because <laughs> I can see the other video which they can't see yeah, with your face <laughs> looking at holding it up to the light. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. We'll go with it. What color? Uh, Berry Burst is quite dark. Um, I know it's on there. And Moody Move is dark. So I might go with Flirty. No, Melon Mambo. There's no space, Mini. It's a juicy one, see? So I just want a hint of it. Did anyone try the retiform technique after last week's live? Let us know. Right. Let's see if it's in the middle. Yay! It's all right. some at the bottom as well <laughs> oh Alison wow you have a TV in there what or are you watching on your mobile Ooh, the, what punch is we do we have a new punch I don't think there's there's not much punch in that catalog new ones anyway is there my assistant isn't answering me <laughs> sorry again. there's not much punch is there it's fine don't worry <laughs> I'll talk to myself. <laughs> oh wow, Mary, thank, thank you so you, much. I think I could just confuse Mary. She asked me a question and I said leave it with me, but I think leave it with me then must be a very English saying. So any English on here, is it is it an English thing? Because yeah, it, Mary didn't quite understand what I said by leave it with me. Question. It's, oh, it's basically. I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll leave it with me. I'll get back to you. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll get it sorted for you. Um, but yeah, sorry if I've confused you. <laughs> oh. There is the the bow punch as well, which is carrying forward over. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. I was like thinking. Um, Leafings with cupcake? Why not? <laughs> Leafings with cupcake. There we go. Oh, slightly bottom. So if I do that on the top, at least that's that's kind of okay. Green. Ooh, green. What green shall I use? Lemon lime twist. Which is a new bright. Oh it's it's really bright. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Lemon lime or granny apple, I think. 
but that's too dark, see? Parakeet party. No, I think lemon lime. Initially, I was like, oh no, it's too bright. But we'll go with lemon lime. And punch it up. Snooker. Hi, Kathy. a die cut already but oh no see this white <laughs> this white I've been spraying that saying sorry <laughs> Louise is going to flash back what pink are you using? What pink is what this one bubble bar and very burstly ink isn't it bubble bar uh melon mumbo berry burst bubble bar natural tones there you go. Hi Kim. Hi Kim. Oh no, wrong one. Okay. Simply ele let's let's give it some gold. I did think gold flourish, but I thought I mm. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Nearly done. Don't put your timer on. <laughs> So I'm just gonna stick this down. No, I keep picking. I don't want to bin it because I, I can still cut it, right? <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Kim. Yes, I, I, I'll show it um, at the end as well. Yeah, this week has been um, quite a couple of posts from there so I haven't really shared <laughs> are you in the middle? I am now that's my pinky voice <laughs> <laughs> so if a pink had a voice that's what it would Th sound that like. would be yeah no not yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Can you see what I have to put up with. You? <laughs> I don't see you much. Um, what die set do you use for the centerpiece, please? Jay? For the that one, it is the new nested essentials dies but I just use it as a mask so I create um, I die cut it on a scrap piece of card thank you Jian oh thanks so much Jian where's my other oh there we go <laughs> it was underneath I did think of doing like a black for it uh, black center but then I wanted the cupcake to be colored but, and I guess another way is what we normally do as well is if you do it in black I w you will have to fussy cut the cupcake and then trace it around with basic black um, blends so then it will sit quite nicely on it Shall I just do my... Okay, I'll just do crisscross. I'll crisscross it again. <laughs> Let's do the crisscross. Right. Here is... Big tool. Be 
No, I'll, I'll fold it. Ooh, what, what was your tip, Betty? The, the bone folder. Oh, I can do it with my fingers. <laughs> but normally, yes, the linen thread, isn't it? Um, run it with a bone folder and it works wonderfully. Oh, that's it. Why are you the same? It does go back to a funky... I'll play around with it later. <laughs> it's just like stay. Right. So that's just gonna go underneath. Underneath. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Where's my glue? Oh, thank you, Jian. I'm just do dobbing it. Dobbing. It's gonna get hidden. No, I got sticky fingers. <laughs> right underneath. And we'll see if I need this. Later. Oh no, I, yeah, I can do that. I do like my diagonals. Right, finally, I'm just going to add that on and then embellish it. Oh, you can't see it. Quick, pull it out. <laughs> right, is that 10 minutes? <laughs> and the rest, Barry <laughs> said. Right, I keep moving it, it's fine. So, where is my dimensionals? See, I, sh I should have just kept it simple, right? You're probably thinking, what are you doing? Oh, look, I forgot my ribbon, this ribbon. <laughs> Shall I add it? No, I think that's too much. I don't know, you never know. I think it's... Just a hint. Just keep adding, why not? Look, and it sticks on it. I did con contemplate just doing um, circular. Uh, it looks all right. I don't know, I quite like the hints there. And that is... If you want to kind of like keep that secured, slip in a dimensional. I in the original I did do it in the corners, but I'm gonna put it quite close. To the joint so it still it still have a bit of height to it how far did I do it there we go and then just the other two
tidy up these probably does need a bit more twigs These backings are <laughs> it'll stay. So finally we're just gonna add some embellishments. Oh, here we go. Copy the cake. Ooh. Um, let's sequence. I didn't use this just last time. Let's hide it. It's not did it. Okay. I didn't want to put it on the thing. Right, that is my car. <laughs> convinced with these gold twigs but I will probably just cut some more of these bow punch and then finish that up but that is it for this evening I'll quickly show you the card that inspired that which is this one so that one again uses the cheerful daisies it's gonna come over and that one was colored in the retiring polish pink Ooh, that's, that's a good one so so yeah so I did the same but uh, I added dimensionals on the top there but it made it flat instead of the side I love that so that's kind of like what inspired that one so whilst Barry is adding your names onto the draw uh, what else have we got to show oh yes my fun fold uh, with the legendary ride again this one was quite hard to photograph because it's wide <laughs> Um, so it does come out um, and it pops out like so. It's quite plain on the front, but um, and quite like I used that for the handle. Um, I couldn't think of a way to close it, so I thought, well, I'll just wrap some twine in it, <laughs> and that kind of like closes it. So that's one of my project uh, for this month's artisan post and the other one was it can be a topper or kind of like um, you can put photographs on it but I uh, I've used it or placed it on our memo board with the magnet um, but I don't really like taking pictures of myself or Barry <laughs> So we, so you can use it as that, or you can have it as a tag as well. And the last one was this one using the DSP um, for the topper and a bit of the elements on there because that's the the flip side of this DSP. And I also used the embossing folder, which. I don't know why, but I cut it 
in six and then top and tail like not top and tail like put it top and bottom so you have the boss and boss the boss and boss but i don't know if it actually adds anything but i really like that actually yeah you said so, surprised <laughs> so, yes Tim says you can pop a gift card in there. I don't know yeah. what I was referring to, but obviously I was paying so much attention. So As I do. As you do. <laughs> so yes, so we are going to be giving away this card right here. So let's bring that up for a closer look there for you. Yeah, I didn't realise it was, it was quite far. Oh, it's this side here. Was it okay? Yeah, there we well, go. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> so... Good luck, everyone. So let's just um, get that ready. Make sure I've got no last-minute names going in. We have got you all there. So let's pick a winner. So the winner Good is... Good luck, everyone. Dun, dun, dun. Who have we got? Marlene. Marlene N. So, Marlene, congratulations there. Do please email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please spot today's date, the 23rd of April 2023, in the subject line and your full mailing address, please, Marlene. And we will send that card to you. Um, so, congratulations. There we go. So, I'm still playing around with the tail. Thing. He's playing with his tassels. <laughs> <laughs> Very pretty. I do like that card. There was a comment come up on there, I can't remember who it was now, it said, will, it, will it, the fold go flat in the post? See, it's going to naturally go down anyway, but the creases will still be there. Yeah. I don't think it's going to flatten it, so it's not... Um, it's... Because it, there's dimensions on it anyway, so mm -hmm. I think the dimensions will naturally still kind of, when it's taken out of the envelope, will naturally bring it into place. So I don't think it will flatten it too much, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, so, yes... So, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for sticking with us tonight as again. So, um, but like Jay mentioned earlier on, do head over to our website and have a little look at our colouring masterclass um, with the subscription um, with that one there and all the details on how you can do that and how many, how, and all the details on all the, um, on the extras which you're going to get through being part of that club and that membership as well. So, um, so yes, do check that one out um, if you wish. Um, but we will say good night for now. Thank you very much for joining us, and we will be back with you again next Sunday. I know Mary, you commented you were looking for us on Wednesdays. Yeah, we've we've stopped doing Wednesdays. So if you're looking for us on a Wednesday, you won't find us there. We stopped it because there's just too much going on at the moment, and we just needed uh, the extra time to sort other stuff out. So yes, yeah, so we we're only with you now once a week. Um, but we will, yeah, we will see. We're trying to be. Uh, use time to create more content for you if we can that's the plan anyway Jay's giving me a, an evil look I can tell no I'm not <laughs> so, um, Anyways. so that's it. but anyway thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back with you next Sunday same time same place yes take care everyone Have thank you week. so much see you later bye bye bye